Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 3 as Korea. In previous episode, we managed to pass some uh, fairly beneficial laws for us, both for education and healthcare, so thus the population growth should be increasing quite a bit. We did also lower the taxes a little bit, and we're still actually making money while we're not building anything, but well, I suppose what we can do is we can do occasional construction work and then, you know, use up the uh, cash reserves for that. But in the meanwhile, the private sector is building a lot. The investment port is dropping a little bit, but it's actually not dropping that quickly. So I think by the time we are starting to hit like two and a half million, we'll probably be actually making money again for the investment port because the economy will be growing a lot. We're already at 21.5 million. So I think we are going to make the uh, new record for this uh, playthrough, um, probably this episode. Because the economy will be growing quite a bit. Triage will also be researched in a matter of a few months. That'll be rather handy. And then, uh, I suppose after that, I don't know which is going to start spreading, but it's going to be something on the tier 3 in there. In society, we've still got so many things to research, though. But I suppose one uh, thing at a time. We'll get through those. The dialects would be quite useful, to be fair, to be able to... Uh, oh! We're going to need another university. Okay, uh, is there any place that would require some more qualifications, perhaps? I suppose that's more over here, anyway. Now, we already got level 6 in our capital. We could potentially just, uh, put another one in there to get even more out of it. Or, uh, let's see, so that's level 3. That's, uh, you know what? Yang Ho is going to get another university. They've got quite a bit of stuff in there. It's going to cost us, of course, quite a bit to build it. But it's not too bad. It's uh, Most of the construction costs are still on the private sector. So that definitely helps. There's uh, still one more foreign uh, building at least being built. Uh, let's have a look at our economic entanglement. It's still 2.2. Hey, low process of voting, so we might get a little bit more, you know, or less discrimination from religion soon enough, at least. Standard of living is now 10.2, which is actually the highest that it's been this playthrough. Um, I don't know how much the difference is there, but it's uh, at least, uh, you know, on par, what, or tied to what we've had before, I reckon. All right, the triage is going to be done fairly shortly, indeed. Is there anyone that would be willing to support our independence? Uh, not yet, not yet. Because one of the things that I could do is improve a relation with someone like Prussia. Did it actually... Oh, right, I did. We also got a fairly good relation with Russia. At this point, I'm going to stop improving relations with them. And then we're going to maybe start supporting someone else. Uh, you know what, USA? I don't know if they'll support me, but... Might as well give it a go, at least. So, how's the private sector construction now? So, they're building more steel mills. That's, uh, oh, that, right, that's in the northeast. That's the first one in there. Another artillery foundry. Uh, fishing walls, more paper mills. That's going to be very useful. And another shipyard. And the uh, university will be done soon enough. So, that's going to uh, capitalize on the innovation cap that we have. Might need to build another one soon after. But we'll just let the money recover for a little while. Because we are paying 14000 per week currently or thereabouts for building up the uh, university. Now, to be fair, we won't be taking too much debt with this particular build, at least. So we should be good. We did reduce the taxes a little bit, which honestly, that improves our legitimacy drastically, which will probably start improving our loyalist numbers a lot. And I suppose, yeah, the standard of living will probably start increasing as well. How is the population now in terms of... Uh... Okay, peasants make only 58% now, so that has gone down. Anti-anti-clericalism. Hmm. We'll take the 10% success chance. Oh, there we go. There's the fishing wharf. Now they're building up the paper mill, a shipyard, and a rice farm, even. I suppose getting some of the rice farms is not a bad thing, because we do need to be able to provide the food for ourselves sooner or later. Now, is there anything that we could do on the... No, we still can't require or demand for the... Really... Oh. Okay, yeah. If they stop the regime support, which they... I don't know if they can... Well, I mean, they might eventually, let's put it that way. Then that would already put us at zero, and then if we can just get the economy increasing and all that. Let's actually have a look at the... Okay, so it's 4.3 times the uh, GDP that what we have. It's still fairly high, but yeah, it's definitely gone down the percentage there. Of course, we still need to get a lot more GDP to actually then surpass them. Or, you know, at least uh, start reducing the GDP uh, impact there. Ooh, modern nursing. Ah, oh, right, that was off the triage. Um, let's go ahead and queue that one up then. So, and actually, what we are going to do... Um, we're going to put in the uh, first aid. 
We've got quite a bit of liquor in our nation, or the market anyway. We've got plenty of fabric, so that shouldn't really be too bad. We can probably go ahead and put these into the second army. And maybe we even put the... Hmm, I don't know if we want to put the extra supplies there. It could be useful. But I think we're just going to go with that for now. That would probably improve our military... Our projection, at least. But we're not making a lot of money right now. I mean, we've got a tiny bit of... Oh, there we go. Proven conscience. We do lose a little bit more on authority, actually. Do we still have any uh, bolstering of parties right now? I don't think we do. No. Let's have a look at... Well, what are we using the stuff for? So there's the taxes. There's the uh, edicts on the states, which we kind of do want to hold on to. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and uh, drop another tax then. Anything else that would be... No, I think the tea was indeed the second best. What about the transportation? How much is that now? That's 6,000, but that's... Uh, yeah, no, that doesn't really compare. The consumption of the axe is 10,000. Which is better than two of those. Okay, so now we're losing a bit of money. We can always increase the axis if need be. I'd rather avoid that, of course, but if we need to, we can do that. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, the radical numbers have dropped drastically. Now, what are the private sector doing? They're building another tooling workshop. Okay. In addition to the previously mentioned. I mean, still another lead mine being built as well. Yeah, the investment pool is currently dro dropping a little bit in size. But not that quickly. That is really a problem or anything. And we've hit 22 million in GDP. We're number 12 still. If we do have a look at the ledger, uh, we are still above Egypt. Still 2 million behind uh, Dutch East Indies and uh, Italy. Four behind, well, four and a half her behind Spain. Uh, oh boy, that's 21, almost 22 behind uh, Russia. They've got basically double what we have. I think we're going to have to go and increase the taxes again. Which does mean that we can maybe go ahead and do some government construction again. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves a bit more taxation. So, Yongnam, which is the southeastern state. That could use another government administration. We'll build that one. How's the innovation? We are almost at our max again. We'll build that one. And then we can switch our things around. I'm going to go ahead and drop another tax though, I think. At this point, we just need to, you know, make sure that we've got the authority. So if we... Well, we're not actually trying to enact anything. But yeah, there's still a kind of course to keep track of the uh, situation. Oh, we could go for private schools now. It would be wealth-based access. Public schools would also be quite nice, but I don't think we can... Yeah, no one's really supporting that yet. You know what? We're going to hold on to the religious schools for now. They are at least serving a purpose. It's already 27.5 uh, religious rate, so that has started going up quite a bit faster. But yeah, we definitely need to get the uh, bureaucracy up a little bit so we can maybe increase the health system a bit further. Or, well, we probably won't be able to increase the education anytime soon. But, but one of these days, we will. No better taxation laws. What do we need for the... Oh, right. Egalitarianism for the proportional taxation. No one's really supporting that law anyway. Even if we had that. Uh, what about the... Uh, right as assembly? No one just... Supports that. Well, okay. There's a little bit of support for it. But it's intelligence and trade unions. And precious speed is also those two. I suppose criticizing the state is not really something that you are allowed to do. Not in this uh, nation anyway. Right. So 22.6 million. Yeah, that's the new record for this uh, series, at least. Legitimacy could be a little bit higher, I suppose. But yeah, we did do this a little bit because we... Uh, oh, rattling clothes. Okay, well, that's actually not good. Uh, anything in here, though? Oh, right. From faster factories, peasants is less than 35%. Mm, we can probably do that. It is already dropping fairly quickly. Now 57%. Okay, so yeah, we do need to get like 22% or more uh, for all for the population to not be peasants anymore. But I suppose if uh, the economy is growing as it has been, I think we can manage that. Also, uh, I'm kind of thinking that maybe we'll get another construction sector up here. Build real quick and then let the private sector take over for a little while. We'll pay off the loans and then, you know, a lot of things will be built in the meanwhile. But that's going to get us 90 points total. We'll want to keep increasing that, of course, but it's a good start, I would say. After that, maybe we'll get need to get another... Yeah, we'll, we'll need to actually get another university, actually. But we'll probably pay off the loans and then start building the university. How about that? We also need to increase the army a little bit. We do have now 20, oh, 224 prestige, which, you know, it's a decent increase. Liberty design... Oh, 
Aha, we can request the market control. They will not accept that. But that should reduce... I think that's going to reduce our relations with them. Yeah, there we go. Poor relations. So now we're not losing that much liberty desire. And if we can just... Uh, you know, I suppose the prestige is going to be a bit of a problem. We'd have to have more than double what we have right now to be able to re start reducing uh, because of that. Or increasing the liberty desire because of that. Okay, now we're making £9,000 per week. Uh, we are doing a lot of construction work. The investment pool is going to be diminishing a little bit right now. But of course, once we start doing some construction work again, we should be fixing that fairly quickly. I do wonder. So the postal savings is going to be the next thing. After that, I'm kind of hoping that the dialects will start spreading. So I'm going to put that in there. Egalitarianism could also be quite useful. But right now, I think the uh, dialects for the better education will actually be better. Or the better, you know, innovation, I suppose. Now, military modern insurers would be also quite useful, but I think we can uh, hold off on that one. So there's a tooling workshop, uh, logging camp, another tooling workshop, coal mines, fishing wharves, logging camp, another tooling workshop. Okay, I'm guessing there's a lot of demand for tools in the market right now. Well, there's a little bit. Not that bad, actually, though. But I suppose uh, we are producing um, 800 of the total product. Well, 800 in just two stays, plus another 250, 190... And 80. Okay, so yeah, we're producing probably at least half of the production in here in the market. And consider that we're probably not using that much in comparison. Is there any laws that we need to change? Or production methods, sorry, that we need to change here? Um, probably not really. Not in its current form anyway. Okay, well, let's wait for the postal savings. After that, we'll probably build uh, some more stuff. We have uh, almost paid off the loans. Yeah, that's going to be mostly paid off by the time postal savings has been researched. And that's also going to start increasing the um, investment pool contribution, I reckon. Which means that we can, well, we can still do a little bit of construction work for the government, of course. Which, speaking of which, uh, we will still need to increase taxes. How much are we paying per month, right? 30,000? Oh, wow. Well, no wonder that we're having some monetary issues. Hey, there we go. Cash reserves go up and the investment pool... Contributions will go up. So what is it going to start spreading? Organized sports. Okay, I mean, that's not really bad. That's going to be more prestige. And that will actually probably help us quite a bit. Uh, right, so where was the um, need for... Okay, so Jungsdale could use a bit more government administration. So I guess we'll build another one. Paper mills are going to be in very high demand soon enough again. So there we go. Another logging camp built. There's going to be some more fishing uh, queued up. There's a lot more resource production from uh, Jing. Oh no, the, the Chinese uh, are building a lot more uh, resource uh, gathering in our nation. We need so much more paper mills. Uh, so I do actually wonder about the paper mills. Is there some more laws that we can... No, we've actually maxed out the productivity of those. Well, not actually productivity, but yeah. A little bit tricky. So we max on our innovation. We definitely need to get another university built after uh, things have... Um, Calm down a little bit. We will still need to... Well, I suppose things are pretty calm still. Is there anything else? No, we can't do anything there. The Liberty Desire is not dropping that quickly anymore. So that's good. Oh, the Entanglement has do dropped down to 2.1. Oh yeah, because they own less and less of the percentage-wise of our economy. So that's definitely helping. We are already at 23.3 million. So actually, they only got four times exactly the GDP that we have. Okay, well, we can definitely work with that. Of course, we've still got quite a bit of work to do to actually get to, like, uh, to the point where it actually starts having an impact on that directly. But I suppose as long as the uh, private sector is building a whole lot of things, it means that the uh, portion that Chinese already owe of our economy is uh, dropping in numbers as well. So I think it's going to be mostly fine. Just a matter of time, really. But there we go. That's another tooling workshop. We're going to have so many tools being produced in our nation. Are we? I don't suppose we are in the top producer. We are still number three in oil, which, okay, that gives us a little bit of prestige, but not too much. Navy power protection, we could probably do something about. Army power protection, we could also do something about. We are currently at 100,000 in debt, which is not, you know, in the grand scheme of things, is not that much. Already 28% literature rate, so that's probably going to be hitting 30% soon. Of course, that will then mean that the standard of living demand is going to be, or expected standard of living will be increasing over time a lot more, but uh, we can probably go on for now. 
It looks like the government administration will be done in two weeks. That's going to free up a bit more construction for the private sector, which, oh, is building another food industry. And uh, some livestock ranches, shipyards. But we, we might need to build some more convoys as well. How are we looking on the uh, trade routes? Oh, we're getting pretty good tariff, and the revenue is pretty sizable. But yeah, the productivity of these, other than the oil, are actually pretty darn good. Uh, so is there paper? We are already importing a lot of paper from the French, are we not? Yes, we are. Because we don't actually need to import more paper directly. Um, I suppose the small logging camps will fix the hardwood issues. Although one of the things that we could even do is we can maybe switch one of these uh, sites to focus on the hardwood production. We will still produce some um, wood as well, but the hardwood will be in very high supply then. Oh, and then now that we're not building anything, the private sector, well, the investment pool is dropping quite drastically now. But at least we can pay off some of the loans, and then we can do a bit more construction work again, I suppose. That will no doubt help. The vacuum canning is going to be done relatively soon. I don't know what we're going to get after that. The reinforced concrete could be useful. The open half process would allow us to get even more steel dynamo, which would be very nice. That would allow us to start utilizing explosives in large quantities for the mining purposes. Which means that the resource would be in very, very high supply. Well, the mineable resource anyway. Let me just double check that all the mines are actually already using coal. Uh, they are. We're not using explosives or anything yet. Because we know that that's going to cause a lot of mortality. Which, to be fair, we've got the population that we could probably spare. But at the same time, I don't think it's going to be initially that much worthwhile. Not yet. We're going to wait for the dynamite. Oh dear. The amount of radicals that we have is definitely increasing. Uh, so I don't suppose there is a lot of laws that we could actually, realistically speaking, uh, institute. I mean, colonial resettlement or something. We don't really need it, though. So I don't think we're going to do that. Um, I suppose we'll need to start from the bottom of the list to see the most supported state relation. We could go back to that, but I don't think I want to. I uh, could go for private schools. Uh, I don't know if that's going to help a little bit. Or all that much in the end. That would increase the intelligence of political strength, though, so that could be useful in the long run. But beyond that, no, there's not too much. At least not until we get the better taxation laws or something. What do we have? Police brutality. Um, no, we're going to take that one, and then just going to put that back to level 3. Uh, we could potentially, admittedly, also increase the health system to level 2 now. We do have a little bit extra bureaucracy, although after those two, it's not going to be much extra. We have um, paid off most of the debt. Uh, where do we need the most uh, taxation? Junji? Okay, well, let's go ahead and increase the government administration. It's only level 5 currently in our capital. Okay, well, we'll build up that one. That's going to give us a bit of extra uh, bureaucracy and a bit more taxation. And thus, we can hopefully fix a lot of our... Well, we'll keep the money somewhat flowing in. Right now, since we are building, the investment pool is actually growing again. Not massively, mind you, but it is growing. And it looks like the... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The Chinese are building so many things in our nation. And that might actually be their attempt of uh, entangling our economies even further again. On the other hand, our GDP is... Uh, they got less than four times what we had, so they got less than 100 million. No, they got about 95. So their GDP has been increasing. Probably about the same speed as ours, but I think uh, we are definitely increasing our GDP, a l you know, a, at least percentage-wise a lot faster, and, you know, I think overall we might be surpassing them. The question will be, will we have enough time to surpass them uh, directly? I mean, at least we are industrializing fairly heavily, so there is that. Oh, more arms industries, another textile, another paper mill, that's going to be very useful. That's going to reduce the cost of all the, well, reduce some of the cost of all the administration that we're trying to upkeep here. That will be very nice. And the shipyard will help building up a few more ports, perhaps. We're still losing a decent bit of money here, though, so we need to be somewhat careful of not overcommitting into building government stuff. Right, the Korean Russian League. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I think uh, that's not going to be helping us too much. Uh, I don't suppose there's anyone that would actually be willing to support our independence now. Nope. Never mind then. There's many nations that we have fairly good relations with. Uh, but none of them are really willing to risk themselves uh, fighting China. China does have quite a prestige as well. No bread, no freedom. Alright. We'll get some more minimum wages. 
That might... I don't know if that's going to actually hinder the economy or not. Probably not that much. Right, so it's three to four months for the vacuum canning. Uh, again, I don't think we'll be utilizing that too much. At least not yet. Now, I don't know what's going to start spreading after that. Dynamo would be nice. So Steam Funky could also be kind of okay, but we got most of the places we got plenty of uh, population or workforce still available. And we kind of want to utilize the workforce uh, as much as possible to reduce the peasant numbers. Once the number drops enough, then we can start to, um, perhaps um, shifting the focus a little bit from manual labor to automated stuff. Oh, political lobby disbanded. The Russian Republic is a thing, apparently. Don't suppose. Uh, let me just double check. No, no one's willing to support my independence yet either. Okay, well, never mind. Or even, even yet. Uh, but uh, we've still got 150, well, 146,000 uh, pounds to pay back. So that's going to be uh, probably up until the vacuum can is research. We're not going to start building anything. Uh, the investment pool is going down 10,000 uh, pounds per week. Do you know, it's a decent bit, but it's not the worst, actually. Oh, we're getting another pavement mill as well. Oh, brilliant. We're going to need a lot of mind, a lot of them, mind you. That's uh, actually, how many levels do we have? That's uh, already level four in Quangbook, and it's getting another two. All right, I'm, I'm not complaining. It's a good place for it. They've got the sulfur mines that we have in there, which I suppose, if need be, we can get some extra in here. Uh, but that wouldn't actually, it uh, would increase the mortality rate quite a bit, so I'm going to avoid that. We do also need to get another university. I suppose we could get that in our capital. You know what? I'm going to start building that already. I know it's going to cost us a little bit, but it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Although that might change uh, next week. But yeah, okay. So we are losing a little bit more money than I hope for. We've got two more weeks for the vacuum coming. Oh, and we're no longer damaged in relation with Ching, is that correct? Uh, yeah, poor relations definitely do help with this. Okay, um... Economic entanglement is still 2.1, although I suppose, yeah, it's dropped a little bit now. There's still only 16% of our economy, uh, but they got less than four times our GDP, so that definitely helps. Their GDP has actually dropped. Now, to be fair, we still support them quite drastically with £31,000 per week. That is a massive cost for us. But even then, even with that hindrance, we're still uh, pulling ahead slowly. And uh, now the next question is, what is going to start spreading of these? We'll see momentarily. Oh, open half process. Okay, so even better steel pr uh, production. Uh, now, if we do want to have a look at the um, food industries, the vacuum packaging. There's the right. That's the steel stuff. There's just a vacuum packaging. I don't think there's going to be enough oil available. But what I suppose I could do is I could take uh, like one of the food industries, like this one. And switch from canned fish to vacuum packaging, which is going to take a little bit more oil, reduce the uh, wheat consumption, put in both fish and um, meat in there, and then double the bonus from this. So yeah, I think that could be worthwhile to at least try and see how much of an impact it ha actually has, though. We're almost 25 million GDP now. We are actually in the top 10 now. Look at that. We surpassed Spain. Um, Russia is uh, still quite a bit higher, so now we are in the point where we need to increase our GDP so much to catch up to the next one. But it's not impossible to do. Oh, leading producer, are we... Oh, right, number two in oil again. Oh. Well, I suppose one of the things that we really need to do to get that upgraded is uh, get the Ganja cranes, isn't it? Yeah, steam power whalers would be probably quite effective. Let's actually double check that. So whaling stations right now... Oh yeah, basically double the output. It would need a bit more coal and of course the steamers and all that. So it's uh, yeah, oh, it's got some costs involved in there. But that would definitely help. Oh man, there's so many foreign queues. There's a lot of cotton and logging and some tobacco plantations. All right, that, uh, well, uh, at least getting another coal mine. And then some more paper mills. Oh, another shipyard, okay. And we're not building anything currently. We're just going to let the private sector do uh, its thing and regain or give us a bit more money essentially. Paper and ammunition are in pretty high demand. We actually have not enough um, infrastructure up here. Okay, it's not too bad. I suppose what we could just do is build another port up here. It's not going to be too bad of a cost, and it might allow us to, you know, keep things rolling smoothly in here. 
Now, has the... Okay, Standard of Living hasn't really increased yet. Okay, we haven't done too many things to really alleviate the pressure. Oh dear, mining accident. Mm, we're going to get the middle strata pops be a bit more radical. That's not really going to cause too many issues. An exile at the gates. Um, we'll start the movement to enact presidential republic. Even while, oh, yes. I like the sound of that. Because that's going to allow us to get rid of the monarchy, which admittedly is going to reduce even more the authority that we have. There we go. Now we've got the movement. It's not very popular yet. But at least the movement exists. Population is already 23 million. That's definitely been growing. And yeah, we can see quite the upturn uh, on the uh, graph there on the literary. Like, it was um, going fairly steadily upwards. Oh, law enforcement back to level 3. Very good. So now we are 30%. Oh, health system level 2. Very good. That should increase the pop growth even further. Now it looks like... Oh... Oh, there's Cambodia having an independence war. They got China and British Raj and so many other things to support. Oh, actually, this could well be our chance uh, to, you know, get a lot of liberty to again. Probably not get our liberty directly, but uh, that might still help. No, can't ask anyone to support my independence currently. I haven't admittedly been that active with the diplomacy game. Okay, so what's the war goal? First of all, I'm going to declare neutrality on that. Oh, Cambodia wants independence for a lot of nations. Reduce Dutch autonomy. Return British Anglo-Indian Rajputana. Oh, oh, okay. That's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Getting the port at least built will get a bit more convoys. Uh, uh, ooh, I have a bad feeling about the current uh, convoys that we have going. I mean, they might um, cause things to kind of break down. At least for all the time being. At least the Liberty Knight isn't too bad, so we should be able to be pretty fine here. We do have another election season, and it looks like the Conservative Party is going to be uh, pretty much the winning side of that again. So I guess this is going to be a massive front line. If China is indeed helping in the war, or did they actually not do that? Well, I suppose I did declare independent or uh, neutrality, so I won't be able to see that. Yeah, no, it's still going. Uh, so yeah, there's going to be probably a fairly massive uh, land front over here with China, and then of course Cambodia. Oh, and then of course a lot of payers in India, I suppose. Kindly burn this letter. Oh, yeah, we can uh, reduce the Conservative Party's momentum. Maybe we can get someone else in power. We do not have brokers to increase any of the other institutions right now, but that's fine. How looking on the... Oh, yeah, there we go. The population growth is definitely pretty decent. How's the um, population in total? Or at least, especially... Oh, upper strata is now 94,000. Middle strata is over 2 million. Lower strata is at middle 21 million still. So that hasn't really been reduced too much. Oh, another motor industry. There we go. And right, the trade routes aren't active right now. I guess what I can do is I can try to... Since... I don't know if it's going to impact me, to be fair. Uh, I could probably go ahead and try to import some more oil. Don't know if Japan's willing to trade with me, to be fair. Maybe we'll... Hmm... I'll give it a go. What's the worst that could happen? And then I suppose opium? Is that something that I can import from elsewhere? Probably. Oh, Anglo-Indian market? That would be a decent amount. Or Burmese market? Or per no, Persia will do. That's going to be pretty good profitability still. Democratic solidarity. Um, sure, we can put in a bit more momentum for the Liberal Party. And we're already at 27 million. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. now the warfare is uh, increasing the price of uh, a lot of the... Uh, military stuff. And that's going to increase our GDP a lot, I reckon. But I do actually wonder how much of an impact is that going to have then for the liberty desire? We are now at 2.0. So yeah, po 0.8 still from that. I suppose, yeah, unful Jing Bio was satisfied by Korea. So that does mean... Oh yeah, so they've got three and a half times the GDP. That's good. There's still a massive demand for ammunition. I suspect that there might be some munitions plant being built uh, during this war. How's the investment port? That is still slowly diminishing, but it's not too bad. We might want to get some more brokers. We did get at least a bit more innovation, although we could actually have even more. Okay, well, let's go ahead and build... Oh, what are we having issues? Oh, right, it's the ammunition. Okay, okay. I'm going to go ahead and build another university up here in the northeast. It's going to cost us a little bit, but that's also going to allow us to make sure that the any productions in there are going to be just fine. Radical numbers are still pretty high, though. So is there... Oh, yeah, the warfare has started. China is actually pushing into Vietnam. There's a bit of fighting between the Burmese and the 
British troops there. I suspect that uh, India being as um, of a mess as it is currently, that's probably causing a lot of issues. All the enthusiastic partisans. Yeah, we're going to reduce the momentum of the Conservative Party. So how is the Conservative Party's momentum now? They are still going to get about half the votes. Okay, so we can probably have Conservative Party and Free Trade Party still in the government together. I'm actually wondering, if we were to increase the government wages, that's going to be about 8,000 extra. But we can get a little bit of extra authority, which means that we can put a tea tax there. So the difference isn't too much. Oh, well, there we go. Election done. I'm guessing the... Um, Current one is, uh, technically speaking, we could get a little bit more if we drop the industrials from the government. They are quite popular, so I think we're just going to hold on to that uh, current government then. But I do see that we are actually out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you have it already. I'll show you the links down below in the description, but other than that, thank you very much for watching, until next time, bye-bye.